Hi, I'm Tom Russell with Home News Now, and I am here with Donnie Leslie, Senior Vice President of Operations at Braxton Color. We are here in Sophia, North Carolina at the company's 400,000 plus square foot manufacturing and finishing operations. Thank you, Donnie, for having us today. Yeah, uh, thanks for coming through and taking the tour and walking through <clears throat> the upholstery manufacturing as well as our uh, finish line. Yeah. So uh, we got our steps in today. We did, for sure. And, and I'm glad we did because um, you have a lot going on. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing uh, with your finish story. Sure, sure. Uh, so interestingly enough, one of the, the big lead-ins for market for us is a finish story. Mm -hmm. Even though we're uh, known as an upholstery manufacturing company. Yes. Um, so overall, we made the decision to change the sheen level. Mm -hmm. on our product so we went from about a 25 30 sheen down to closer to a matte finish to sort of give the product a bit more refinement mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that we updated our stain colors and also we're bringing out a handful of new paint colors mm -hmm. so we're really excited about it and and while we're an upholstery manufacturer the finish line affects well over half of the products that come out the door whether it's in the wicker and rattan seating or whether it's uh, on the feet that come on the sofa. So re we're really excited about the way that the overall line will look just with that change. Now, Braxton Color has always been a livable line of furniture with its coastal looks, its, uh, its style aesthetic in that particular area. Right. But this sort of aligns the, the, the sheen levels, the five to 10 that we're talking about, aligns these finishes with sort of a more livable look that we've seen on the wood, wood side of the business for a while. Right, so one of the goals for us is to uh, have a bigger reach, sure. right? And we've demonstrated that by, <clears throat> you know, showing in Atlanta market and with the plans mm -hmm. we have for Vegas and for Dallas mm -hmm. uh, coming up. Um, and, and to do that, we feel like we want to have a broader appeal while at the same time, this is this is going to service the customers that got us here, right? Mm -hmm. This coastal, uh, more casual look sure. is enhanced even better by dropping the sheen levels down and cleaning up the colors. Mm -hmm. So when folks come to visit you at the April market, they're going to see it's some dramatic differences, I'm guessing, than that, what they've seen in the past. Uh, so I think so. Um, but I do feel like when the customers come through, they're not going to... I don't feel like our customers are going to feel like we walked away from our core, mm -hmm. right? Um, when we were earlier, when we walked through the fit, like right in front of the finish line, when we had all of the samples out there ready for, um, for distribution out to our showroom, you could see an overall mm -hmm. feel change, right? Cause they're yeah. all together. Um, and I feel like it, it will be even more so when you see it spread out, uh, in the showroom, what, like after we style it and after we match it up with all the upholstery and you mm -hmm. see it interwoven with the fabrics. Yeah. So yeah. So the, the reach is going to be, you've increased your, uh, your sales force as well, and there's going to be, it sounds like, some opportunity to grow the business with these new looks, right? pitching and, and selling two different areas of the country. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, sure. So we've added uh, sales in uh, Northern Southern California, Pacific Northwest, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, uh, mountain region, um, added in Texas, and uh, also uh, we added uh, representation in Hawaii and Guam, which mm -hmm. is a which is a big deal for us because sure. that look fits uh, that market so well. Um, and and those those reps uh, in the continental U.S. Uh, for them, we now have. Uh, guaranteed freight rate program, mm -hmm. uh, which we put in place at the beginning of the year, mm -hmm. which is brand new for us. Yep. So for our customers, let's just say west of the Mississippi, uh, it's now very clear what they'll land the product for, where wow. in the past that's been sort of a moving target. Sure, so sure. It's something that uh, will help sort of define, uh, you know, where our retailers uh, end up, you know, for their retail sales price. Excellent. Well, a lot of exciting stuff going on at Braxton Collar. We're, we're really pleased to be able to tell the story and, and wish you guys the best of luck at, at market and beyond as, well, as this story gets out there. Well, thank you very much for coming and yeah. uh, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough and seeing everything yeah. uh, that we do. 
Um, yeah. And we're happy to have you here anytime. Well, thank you. We've been waiting for a long time to do this, and we're <laughs> grateful. Thank you. Good, good. All right. Perfect. Thanks.